Hey friends, welcome back to the farm. Today we have a super special treat for you. It's irrigation day. The animals are psyched. We're gonna need these bad boy rubber boots right here. We're also gonna give this thing a whirl. It's a great time. The animals are gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Come on, check out Harpster Farms Irrigation Day. Okay, let's let the fun begin. Right here is our irrigation valve. Pretty simple. Just open that thing up and we're gonna have water flooding out into our whole pasture. The reason I leave it on there, some people take it all the way off. I don't want these guys stepping in that hole and breaking the leg. Yeah, one of the reasons why we don't let our pigs out all the time is because they will mess up the ground, especially when it's a little bit wet. As you can see when they root around and dig. And it's something we gotta fix every so often, but heck, it's too cute, they love it, so we let them flop around when it's irrigation time. Does that feel good, Pua and Pumba? Heck yeah. Huh, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Yes, hello. Oh, hi. Now you would think that our ducks would want to be out here. They have no interest whatsoever. They just want to hang up by their little kiddie pool and chill out. I guess so much for uh, uh, being waterfowl. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to completely fill in, and we take about an hour and 45 minutes of water, I wanted to give you a couple of facts about, uh, you know, the flood irrigation and how it's beneficial. First of all, as you can see, it allows for a nice deep soak of the grass and the trees. It's more cost effective than having sprinklers come on all the time, and it is pretty much passed down to us from farmers late 1800s here in Arizona, they were getting flooded. They were going through severe droughts. So what they did is got all their land together, 200,000 acres approximately, and leveraged it as a federal loan to go ahead and build the Roosevelt Dam. That created Roosevelt Lake and SRP, Salt River Project, took that over and created a series of canals to deliver that water to the farmers that leveraged their land. As time went on, of course, there's been uh, land purchases done, commercialization, homes built. So that has slowly dwindled. And right now, there's only about 22,000 customers that receive irrigation here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. And that represents roughly 5% of SRP. So it's kind of unique. We're in that small percentage of group of farmers, quote unquote farmers, that still get flood irrigation. And we love it, and so do the animals. All right, it's time to shut it off. We've had our irrigation for two hours. Look how much water we got out there.
It usually covers about two to three, maybe four inches in spots of water. Perfect for soaking in, perfect for lots of fun. Hey, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, give us a comment, hit the notification bell. We want you to be part of our family, see what's going on here at the farm. Let's get this shut off and come join us next time. That's it.